was a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night, to sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It is never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. We're back here again! So, are we completely out of the mirage? How strange. My mirage didn't contain any hints on the Tui or the machine. Does that mean they had nothing to do with these mirages after all? Or perhaps these mirages are a mere consequence and not part of a process at all. Um, Paimon's lost! I mean, these mirages were not steps towards solving the mystery, but rather a direct effect of whatever's going on. Someone did something to bring the mirages into being. As they were just passive side products, it was natural that they couldn't provide us with any useful information. In other words, those mirages were only about ourselves. Hmm. Pure materializations of ourselves. Interesting. Hmm. Everyone, maybe we should go back to where this whole thing began. During our first day on the island, the Traveler and I checked out the Fatui camp together. We found a strange machine there, as well as some disoriented Fatui. The researcher who spoke to us claimed that the machine was just a Fatui industrial invention. He even promised to not disturb us. Right, right! And the Cappy Cap guy looked half asleep the entire time! He kept talking nonsense! I wonder, is it possible that madness and mirages are two different outcomes of the machine's influence? If so, everything can be traced back to that damaged machine. Except for the difference in how it affects people. This, I believe, is caused by differences between the affected people themselves. Oh. When you put it that way, it is indeed difficult to distinguish dreams and hallucinations. So what you're saying is, the device affected us differently because we are different from the Fatui. Yes, and according to our observations over these past few days, I think the difference is that we all have stronger willpower. Yeah, I can get behind that. People with strong willpower will hallucinate instead of falling into madness. But those who break too easily can't maintain a stable mirage. In other words, we should go back to the Fatui camp and destroy that machine right away! No. It should be repaired rather than destroyed. What Main Fräulein means is that rashly destroying a machine we do not understand may lead to more serious consequences. It would be better to find a way to repair it first. Right. It pays to be cautious. If my guess is correct, that machine is capable of influencing the human brain. So we'd better tread carefully. So let's go now! There's no time to waste! 